so what is up developers welcome back to the channel uh, this is fortune dev academy new tutorials on backend development on daily basis or if, if we get layers maybe like every two days so at least you get value from the tutorials so what i'm going to be making your life much easier today by showing you how you can turn a php web app into a fully fledged desktop application with an installer and all that which runs completely natively, doesn't run from a browser. This is not a progressive web app. Web app. This is an executable that you can share as an actual software. So you're actually going to be building some actual software. So at least for once, you can call yourself an actual software developer. So to do this, we're going to need a few things. Nothing fancy. First, you're going to need a web app, the one you have decided you will turn into a... A desktop app so for me i chose this a php calculator we made back in the channel back in the days we were building out 100 php projects we're still doing that so if you haven't checked out that playlist it will be down in the description so you're going to need something you want to turn into a desktop app so i've chose this calculator and then what you're going to need is this php desktop repository it was developed by a guy whose name I can never be able to pronounce. So all you have to do is navigate to this GitHub repository and then just download for the, whichever version operating system you're using for Linux or Windows. So just hit the download button and you'll get a zip file. I already have it right here on my desktop, so I'm not going to do that. And then you're going to need something known as Eno. This is going to help you to bundle up your executable later because you want to share this to your friends. Or if it's a large software, you want to host this on a website so people can actually pay to download your software. You get the point. So once you have this, all you have to do is extract this. So I'm just going to open up my CDOCS folder. And I'm just going to drag this in here. And then I'm, I'm going to extract it. Hopefully you have WinRAL or whichever. Even Windows can extract this. So either way, you're good to go. This should take a little bit, like a minute or so. And just go ahead and delete the original zip. Feel free. We are going to rename this to... I'm going to call this software I'm just going to call it software tutorial and in here you're going to find several files let me just enlarge this in here you're going to find several files don't tamper with any of these files do not accept this this is the main executable file so you go ahead and rename this I'm going to rename this to calculator. Okay. That's well and good. Let's try launching this. So the first time you launch this, you get this debugging console. Everything looks... Well, this can help you if you're debugging and help you catch errors, but you don't really want to look at this. Uh, you can refresh this so you can see this a fully-fledged website. Okay, so you don't really want this, you don't want all of this, and you definitely don't want this for users to be able to view page source. It just really removes the whole desktop application feel, you get me? But don't worry, I got you covered, we can fix all this right now. So all you have to do... It's open up the settings, settings.json. Okay. And then you can just change. These are just um, several Boolean. So to show console, you can just change this to false. Change everything to false. The title, this we should also change. PHP uh, 
Okay. Pop up window. Don't need really to tamper with that. Web server. Index files. You also want to disable this context menu. So let's just set that to false. And just save this. So if I head back and run this application again, uh, we don't get we don't get the, the console. And if I left click, I don't get any options. So this is good, this is good. But this content isn't really yours. So what this is essentially doing, it is serving up these pages from this web server. This www it's almost like your htdocs folder so i'm just going to get rid of everything in here okay so we have nothing in here no folder at all so let me just open this up with visual studio So as this loads up, I'm going to need the code from my website that I created, which was a simple calculator. So let me just copy this. I've already taken the liberty of downloading this locally to my PC. But you anyway, you will find this on my repository. Just download this. It's just a one second thing. So that you should be good. You should be okay, guys. So this is done. Let's create an index dot php. You know what? We didn't really have to do all this. Um, I can just head in here. And then just copy all these files. And right here and paste and so if I just close this let's just navigate to the folder close this up as well let's just navigate to the folder And we said it's a software tutorial and then just launch that and voila you have a running fully fledged desktop application so you are officially a software developer so definitely this can run natively now on my pc so if i need a calculator all i have to do is launch it work with it of course you can do a lot more with this you can make a tool for users to be able to edit their images to crop their images you can literally reinvent everything you'd always wanted and then just turn that experience from running from the browser to actually running you can even put an entire chat application you can make a chat application on the web and then just shift it right here and enable users to be able to launch it as a software but here comes the problem. Here comes the problem. If I'm to copy this and paste it, if I run this, we get an error because this software isn't really portable. So to help you out, you need an installer, something that um, once a user clicks, it will install the necessary files that enable this application to run on their system. And so all they really need to have is the installer. Once they have the installer, your system, your application can run smoothly on any 
device ever any any pc ever and to solve this we have this we have you need this setup the inno setup you will find it from the official website don't worry all these links will be down in the description once you're done all you have to do is launch the application so let me launch inno setup but before i do this I have to delete, I have to uninstall this. Oh wait, I, I don't have to, I don't have to, because it will create a completely different. So just hit on create a new script, new empty script, hit on next. We're going to call this calculator. Calculator version 2 and the version you can just give it 2.0 and you don't I don't really have a company publisher etc just hit on next uh, okay 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 next the main executable just browse for this and software tutorial and this is the executables open that and then just drop all the files all the files so let's navigate bear with me local disk zamp htdocs and all the code is in the software tutorial folder so that entire folder yes it should include subfolders and uh, finally hit next so associate a file type and check this you don't need this and then hit next create a shortcut menu of course you want a shortcut menu who doesn't need a shortcut menu and then license no one has a license who really does administrative install definitely languages let's just go with english for now custom compiler output folder let's let's do this to the to the desktop let's even get this to the desktop Okay, this is where your final setup file will be outputted. And we want this to be calculator version. Mm, calculator. Error. Okay, okay, let's just do that. Browse for an icon. I have one on my desktop in here. And it has to be an dot ico kind of file otherwise you'll get errors and then just hit next and next and finish so compile the script of course would you like to save no no need and this should take um just bear with me I, I, i'll make sure once i'm editing this video i put some background music so that you guys don't get bored as we wait for this to finish setting up this should take like one minute maximum hopefully we get no errors no errors fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed fingers crossed oh by the way as we wait if you aren't a subscriber i put a lot of work into the making these tutorials so please 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 my guy be sure to go down there hit that subscribe button Hit that like button and if you have friends and family who are who want to get into software development you can share this tutorial with them at least help them out and go through the channel you'll definitely get something that is valuable to you so estimated time is 35 seconds oh you gotta be patient enough for this and and that tip it tip it tip it tap tap tip it tip it tap 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 Tippy, 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 tap, tap. They light. It's taking locked in. Okay, okay, just 10 seconds. And voila, it is done. It is done. You finally have your installer. You have your installer. It is done. And this is output no don't save changes and here it is 
this is your installer so let's just install this let's just install this for you guys to see that it's actually working not just mine yours the one you've created just now should be working too and just hit next the next install extracting tip tip tap tap tip tip tap 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 this should take like five seconds five second stops five four three two and one come on come on come on come on ah oh, and we're done finish launch it and boom it is that simple to set up your very own desktop application whose backend is written using purely php so don't have to struggle with visual basic c plus plus which would actually give you a mind green or even was a headache so that's it i'll see you guys in the next tutorial where we work on something more exciting than this episode